Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining the webinar. My name is Rosie Coronado, and in today's session, we will cover how you can use print and delivery and get a text message instead uh, of an email. Uh, I'm not sure how well you guys know print and delivery. I will start with it, I'll give you a little bit of an overview, and then I will show you how to uh, how you can set it so you will actually get a text message. Okay? I hope you can um, see my screen. Print and delivery is a module within the usability package. If you look right here, you see the uh, usability package is the main add-on, and print and delivery is a module within, within the usability package. So you, you pay what you need. You can turn it on or turn it off and, and let uh, see how many users you need. Um, it's a crystal report integration, uh, so you can email to your customers, you can mass email, you can do you know email when you click the add button, and you can schedule emails, which is very nice. So for example, an account balance, you can schedule by the end of the month. So on the 30th of each month, you get your account balance <coughs> to your customers. So if I go into the system, just to show you, when you have the usability, usability package installed, you will have a menu right here. That's the usability configuration. And here you have a tab, it's the productivity package. And print and delivery is one of them. That's the red circle you just saw. Once you have that installed, you go to module configuration and to print and delivery. And uh, first you have to do a crystal report configuration, meaning you attach your crystal reports you want to use. Print and deli delivery comes with uh, quite some crystal reports you can use. I think it's a little bit over 30. Uh, you can use those or modify them or you use your own reports. As you can see right here, for all my sales and purchasing documents, I use one report. My crystal report knows what document it is, and it puts on the correct header. If it's an order, it puts order. If it's an invoice, it puts invoice. Then you're going to, you have to um, do your actions, report actions. You can show report. Uh, email report, safe report, what, uh, whatever uh, you would like to set up. And you can have multiple actions, meaning you want to, when you send out an, a sales order, you also want to create maybe an activity or an internal message. Or you can do a conditional action. Okay? I'm going to find one email there report, let's say the account balancing report. This is where you would set up the actions. And as you have known, if you know print and delivery, this is where you would put uh, in where you want to send your in invoice to. In my case, I have the default contact person, and I also want to CC on the email category SMS. And I will show you how to set that up, what you use for that, okay? I'm going to go right here, report action, what you can do is, like in my case, it's account balance. I actually will use that one for today's section. It's it's written, the, the email body is written in plain text. It's uh, dear, syntax 7, that's the customer uh, business partner name. Attached is your account balance and then my company name. Down here, you as I said, you tell the action, who do you want to send it to? And on the bottom, in my case, I'm going to save it as a draft because um, uh, as a draft today, and or you can send it directly. When you have SMTP, you cannot save it as a draft. It would go out directly, and you also can use Exchange Server. You also can use in the email body HTML if you know uh, that language. So you can do HTML or plain text. Okay. Once you have this set up, just a little bit of overview. You do the report configuration. And you see right here, I'm using Crystal Report uh, 1 for all of them. This is my sales quotation. 
this is the sales order, I use the same crystal report. And you also see when I do a sales quotation, when I click the add button, I want something to happen. On the sales order, you see I, I don't want nothing to happen. Now, I was asked, can I do SMS uh, not that long ago? And yes, you can. What you have to do is because, for example, you go on vacation or your manager says to you, okay, I would like to get um, a, a text message when you send out an account balance, uh, maybe for a certain customer, uh, example. Or I want to get a text message if a first sales order goes out to a new customer and so on. I want to get a text message. I want to be CC'd on. Okay, uh, so what you would do is, it's actually a very uh, a simple setup. What you would do is you need to find your provider. I have a list here that's from the U.S. This is your provider, and what you have to do is, in today's case, I'm going to use uh, my number uh, using Sprint. Um, and you just put in your number, then add messaging at Sprint PC or this one here. Oops. Sorry. So this is what you put in, your telephone number at. What that does, it sends it out in your outbox on your email and, um, and it will come in as a text message. So if I go back to uh, SAP Business One and I pull up the customer, remember my action said I would like to send it to the default contact and also I have a group because you can also do um, email groups and I think it was MaxiTech I have it set up, let me look, there we go. If you look right here, it's email address, it's the number at pmhprint.com and then I also have a email category SMS. Okay, if I go now and set, uh, set out a, uh, send out a sales order uh, for this uh, customer, it, I have it saved as draft, so you can see it. Let me pull up a sales order really quick. Let me see if I hope they're MaxiTech. I'm going to click on my email button, okay, and then I'm going to pull up my Draft email. Oh no, that's not it. Hold on one second. Oh, the account balance. I'm sorry. I have the account balance set up. My bad. It's not the sales orders. I had it on the account balance. So if I send out an account balance, that's my actions on the account balance. I send out the account balance. I'm going to do MaxiTech. And you see right here. It's going to email it to this number and you will get a text message. I have tested it. Unfortunately, I cannot show you my phone even if I send it now. But I'll show you. I did do a print screen right here. And this is how you would get it in. You see right here the left one that was just one sales order. I also tested it that had more than one attachment because as you know with print and deliver you can do more than one attachment. This is a condition I had in there. If it's a first time customer it attaches more and it did attach the three uh, attachments I wanted. This is how it comes in. It works uh, very nice. Um, I have tested it uh, several times, but yes, you need to find out from your provider. That's one thing you need to find out from your provider how you can, can convert um, uh, your phone number to a text message or make your phone number email and then convert to a text message. I'm going to go back here again to um, MaxiTech really quick. So you can see it one more time. And, and that's basically it. If you, uh, if you need more information from uh, print and deliver, you let us know. But this is what you need to do. Email this, to, uh, put in your email address for, for your cell phone number. And it comes in as a text message. Okay. Here's your print screen again, and here is some information about our products, and I'm going to try to unmute.
you if you have any questions um, or raise your hand if you have any questions about that uh, using uh, SMS uh, print and delivery for your text messaging. Any questions? No? I know it was a, a kind of more or less a short um, um, a short webinar, but just imagine what you can do. I have, for example, is there questions? I don't see it. For example, I have a condition set up. I'm not sure if you saw my last webinar, first time customer. Maybe you want to send um, you want to send a text message then to somebody that you have a new customer, somebody to follow up. Okay, if you want to, okay. So thank you so much for joining. I don't see any questions. And um, uh, the video will be posted. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed it and learned something. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.